The Pen BBS 471 is a compact eyedropper filled fountain pen that's primarily made out of acrylic. It's available in a wide variety of colors. I have this one in a clear resin with a firework theme etched into it. The bottom finial features a metal band and more about this band in a moment, but it is available in silver as well as the gold color that we have here today. And the top finial is flat and it's followed by threads which are smooth to the touch and then a slight step up to the main body of the cap. And then the cap is straight all the way down and towards the bottom, we have more of those etchings that show the firework theme. The cap is flush to the pen body and it unscrews in about two and a quarter turns to reveal a number six size stainless steel nib. I have this one in a fine and it has, again, a laser etching of fireworks in it. And on the back, we have the typical pen BBS plastic feed. The section starts with a flare up and then it has a tapering portion followed by threads, which are smooth to the touch. And then there's a small step up to the pen body and the body is straight and pretty short. This pen can hold about one milliliter of ink when it's fully filled. Then at the back, we again have that cap band. If we look closely at that cap band, there are facets in it, which will act as a roll stop. In the hand, the pen is extremely short and not very well balanced because of this metal cap, but that metal cap is removable to make the pen a little bit better balanced, but doesn't change the fact that it's very short. It's not suitable for quick notes, but you might be able to get away with small tallies and check marks. And luckily the cap posts securely by threading on, and it makes for a lightweight and well-balanced fountain pen that's a nice length. You can put this metal ring in the middle of this pen, which gives you a nice balance right in the center, or screw it onto the top of the cap, which extends the length of the pen a little bit and also adds some weight towards the back. Personally, I like to use it without the cap band altogether. In terms of size comparisons, here's the Pen BBS 471, a typical Pilot G2 rollerball pen, and your standard Sharpie. And here they are posted. Before we get into the disassembly of the Pen BBS 471, I wanted to take a moment here to compare it with two other compact fountain pens. Up top, we have the Pilot E95S. This is perhaps one of the most popular pocket-sized fountain pens on the market today, and we can see in its cap form, it is significantly longer than the 471. And down below, we have the Traveler's Company fountain pen. This is a very compact pocket-sized fountain pen that's primarily made out of brass. But we can see, even in its cap form, it is still quite a bit longer than the 471. Let's take a look at these pens uncapped. Uncapped, we can see the E95S is again significantly longer than either of the other pens. The E95S is the only pen that has a 14 karat gold nib, and it is an inlaid nib. The other two pens have fully exposed stainless steel nibs. The Pen BBS has a number six size nib, and the Traveler's Company has a number five size nib. The Traveler's Company fountain pen has a section that has a flare up to a barrel that's very short. The E95S has a gradual taper that goes to the back of the pen. And the Pen BBS is the only one with a traditional shape section that starts with a flare up and then it has a tapering portion. The Pen BBS is the only one that has a screw off cap. The other two are pull off caps. And the Pen BBS is the only one of the three that is eyedropperable. Let's take a look at these pens posted. All caps post securely. The Pen BBS is the only one that has a screw to post cap. The E95S is just a little bit longer than the Traveler's Company pen when it's posted. And the Pen BBS is significantly shorter than either of the other two models. Disassembling the Pen BBS 471, the cap unscrews. And there are no other components to this cap. There's just a little step up in it to help seal off the nib. So that's it for disassembling the cap. The section unscrews from the barrel. And if you want, you can also unscrew the trim ring from the barrel. 
And then we have the section with the nib and feed. The nib and feed unscrew from the section. And they're held together by this nib collar. If you want, you can pull them right out, but I'm gonna leave them in place for now. And at this point, the pen is fully disassembled. To reassemble, I'm gonna start with the barrel and I'll attach the trim ring to the back of it. And then we'll grab our section. And at the bottom of the section, we can see there is an O-ring. This O-ring is really critical. It's good to silicone grease this to make sure that you don't have any leaks. And then I'm gonna grab the rollerball attachment that came with this pen. It's a pretty cool attachment. It has the same dimensions as the standard nib collar, so it screws right into place on this. And if you want to clean this out, you can unscrew the front from it. And there you can see the feed for the rollerball and a little cotton wick to help bring uh, ink into the front of the nib. So for the writing portion, we're going to start with that. And that just screws into place. We'll then grab our cap, which screws right on. And now we're ready to ink up. Inking up the Pen BBS 471, today I selected Sailor Yamadori, which is a nice teal ink. Pen BBS did include an eyedropper in the package, but I personally prefer these spring-loaded syringes, and I'll include a link in the description below to where you can buy this. We'll unscrew the cap of the pen. And another nice feature of this metal band is it gives you a nice solid surface to hold the barrel upright. I'm gonna remove the section. Grab our syringe. Push down on the piston and drop ink. And we'll fill up our barrel. Might take a couple times to get a nice full fill. So there's two. I think that's pretty good. About two and a half. Let's grab our nib and section and screw that onto the barrel. Cap up our bottle and our pen. I'm gonna give it a few minutes to help make sure that the ink saturates that uh, cotton wick that we saw inside the nib and then we'll start writing. Okay, ready with the Pen BBS 471, cap and screws, and I am gonna post it. And here we're writing with the rollerball attachment. which functions really nicely. It's a pretty cool attachment, the fact that you can take a rollerball pen and use fountain pen ink. That's not something that I see very often. Um, our ink, again, is Sailor. Yama Dory. For flex, I'm not gonna bother, and same with reverse writing, since this is a rollerball pen, um, you don't get any flex with it, and you can't really reverse write. It writes in a rollerball 360 degrees. So let me go ahead and unscrew our rollerball attachment. And grab our regular fountain pen nib and feed and screw that in place. I'm going to cap the pen. And give it a minute to uh, let the ink saturate the feed. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a shot. Unscrew the cap and I am going to post it. 
There you go. And again, this is a pen BBS 471. Our nib, it doesn't have a marking, but it is a fine, and it has those cool firework etchings on it. And it is a stainless steel. And it writes very smoothly for a fine, although in terms of pen BBS nibs, this one is on the dry side. So this one might benefit from a little bit of nib tuning and spreading out those tines. The ink is the same for Flex. You can push out a little bit of extra ink, but not much line variation and for reverse writing. It's actually pretty smooth, but it's very dry. Um, that T got washed out. So in terms of pen BBS nibs, this is probably not my favorite one, but I will also mention that this pen, this model is a few years old. I think that they've really improved their quality control on their nibs in recent years. So in terms of reverse writing, you would get a thinner line, but also you might end up not really getting much of a line at all, as we saw there. So what do I think? of the Pen BBS 471. I really like this pen. I like the fact that it's so compact and yet you get the full size writing experience of a regular fountain pen with a number six size steel nib and a full regularly shaped section. That's something that you don't often find on these small pocket pens. I also like the overall design aesthetic. I like the straight cylindrical shape of the pen and I like the fact that you can get this in many different colors. Um, the clear color is a cool one if you like watching your ink slosh around, but if you like mixing and matching different ink colors with your pens, you have that option too. The metal ring has um, grown on me to some extent. I think that it's very nice. It acts as a nice stand, oops, stand when you are filling up the pen. It gives you a pretty sturdy base and the fact that you can move the center of gravity of the pen makes it a pretty cool one to have you can kind of tinker with where you like having this metal band and of course you have the option to not have it at all in which case you have a very streamlined looking pen that is only acrylic so that's a very cool look as well and i personally prefer this one the band also i didn't mention this um gives you another feature in that if you have two of these you can daisy chain them onto each other and basically make a makeshift version of the pen bbs 469 which is a pretty cool feature to have um, all of this for under 20 dollars is a pretty incredible value in terms of areas to improve with this pen i don't have very many um, the threads can cross thread on occasion which is a little bit annoying at times and while the metal band has those facets to act as a roll stop, in reality, it doesn't really function that much. Um, so what I wish was maybe instead of having this act as a roll stop, they included a clip on this, somewhat similar to the Kaveco Sport, which has a removable clip. And I also really like the fact that Pen BBS decided to include this rollerball attachment. I haven't seen that from very many pen manufacturers. That's a huge value. So with all that being said, I do really love this pen and I think that it's a fun pen to have in your collection. Even if the nib is maybe not the best out of the box, you can easily find other pen BBS pens and swap those nibs into it or use that rollerball attachment or simply tune the nib a little bit and spread the tines to get a nice juicy writing experience. And that just leaves me to say, Thank you for watching.